New technologies have been driving the woodworking industry for the past several decades. Some of those technologies are rapidly changing the way we manufacture furniture, cabinets, millwork, and fixtures. This year, at the AWFS show in Las Vegas, we asked a number of key suppliers to share with us their thoughts about the most significant technologies that will impact the woodworking industry in the near future. Here's what they had to say. Our biggest opportunity out there is uh, uh, adding value to materials that don't uh, are, that are not used uh, correctly today or properly today. We have a situation over in Europe where if you don't automate, you die, basically. It's, it's, it has come to that point, and more and more of that we see coming our way. And, and uh, we think we are prepared, and uh, we are more than happy to share that with our customers. I think that automation is still in the forefront. Uh, I mean, there's automation out there today. Um, and I believe that's very important as we continue to compete in this uh, you know, global you know, climate that we have today, the global market. It's health, it's safety. Everyone I talked to, we just wrapped up a deal with the History Channel to, to, to do a, an Operation Build Game Changer where we will show how our products are safer than anybody else's. It allows the end user to work freely. So for me, it's, it's absolutely the whole entire industry is going towards safety and health. Today, with lean manufacturing and CNC technology, we don't need to make 500 parts or 100 parts to be able to make a part economically feasible for a customer. I think that the automated machinery and the technology for routing and shaping and cutting component parts automatically um, uh, is the greatest thing that our industry has going forward in North America. We, we research uh, um, extremely uh, in deep uh, what is possible to do on the machine to save energy and to reduce the waste, technology that can increase the performance and at the same time can make the overall, uh, the overall impact on the machine easier. One of the key things our customers always talk to us about is their ability, inability to find labor. Uh, so automation, you know, certainly brings them the opportunity to solve that portion of it. All the technologies that there are in, uh, in, uh, in our, let me say, our field, the typical technologies, sizing, bending, drilling, uh, sanding, they are all moving really uh, toward automation. In the kitchen segment, I'm uh, uh, seeing or we're familiar or becoming more familiar with some of the uh, manufacturers looking to, to develop more contemporary type product. I guess I'd have to go back to the industry 4.0 thing. I think it does provide a lot of value to the customer to, for them to really be able to see what's going on with their machinery and for those machines to be able to communicate um, back to the tool holders and the tooling talking to each other, to the, talking to the machine and every, everything in the process really knowing what's going on. In focusing on power tools, we're finding power tools getting smarter and smarter. We're finding ways to incorporate technology that makes them more efficient, uh, longer lasting, but great ways to supplement and augment a lot of stationary machine practices that increases efficiency throughout the shop and productivity. CNC router bits uh, continue just to, to be very, very strong and continue an upward trend. And I see a lot more pressure on manufacturers to create new complex geometries within router bits. Uh, continue to elevate saw blades because uh, they're not going to go away. I think uh, one of the key investment uh, opportunities is in uh, efficiency. Uh, I think uh, there are a lot of machines out there that can do a good job, but uh, sometimes the difference between a good machine and a great machine is how you use it. Everything is beginning to integrate together. It used to be that someone would make a high-tech tool and it had its own software to drive it. It had its own technology. It was a walled-in fence. It, everything, they produced everything. That's not how it's happening now. Well, in the, in the future, it's more of what we have now and, and getting it more user-friendly. It's the CNC machines that are going to be doing more and more for us. You know, there's a lot of buzz right now about Industry 4.0. I think we're all sort of playing a part in what will develop into a very significant concept for the industry and that is that there'll be real-time information available to manufacturers. I think that uh, 
what you'll start to see is more and more companies that want to uh, implement technology, software technology at, at every phase of their business. Um, so to really uh, connect all the dots. What I see a lot at, at my customers and at our facility is automation. We have a line of machines, a line of edge banders that allows the one man shop to produce the quality with a $35,000 machine that normally you could only achieve with a $200,000 machine. I see the technolo technology in terms of processes and, and applications. We've got to educate our staff so that when our staff talks to somebody that they don't just focus in on one specific application and say, you're buying my machine because you want to do curve molding. What else are you going to do? If you're not doing this today, what do you think you're going to do down the road? How can we help you? We're seeing where people now are connecting appliance, uh, thermostats in their homes, and as well as openings and cabinets and doors, and they want to have access to those to those openings. They want to have control of them, and, and we think this is an evolution of providing more freedom, more access uh, to consumers in the marketplace. We're introducing RFID uh, readers, and we're using other things that are potentially are ways to access your drawers without, um, you know, using uh, actually using technology as well. I think that um, lean manufacturing is definitely going to be a part of that, and I think that finding um, technologies that help these different organizations um, towards a more lean program that incorporates continuous improvement is, is you know, what, what they're looking for and what they need. We're going to have to be able to integrate, give the customers the opportunity to customize, manufacture it efficiently in one batch at a time semi-custom and have the computers talking to the machines so that it all happens quickly and we maintain short deliveries and we can uh, battle the exports. I think uh, at, the, at the grassroots level of, of the cabinet shop and even a, a, a two-man cabinet shop, uh, the successful ones we see today are the ones that are currently leveraging just the basic power of the PC to do everything in their business to help them from design to invoicing. What we're seeing is, is more on the data side, um, information to the end users, making sure that they have everything they need at any given time uh, to be able to perform a job efficiently. Uh, one of the things I think that can really change the way a shop operates is RFID technology. Uh, the industry is uh, embracing zero-edge technology uh, at a very rapid rate. Secondly, the, adap the adaptation of vertical boring solutions is, uh, is very applicable in a lot of our clients' factories. We're going to, as an industry, have to supply technologies that are simpler to use, more purpose-built for whatever the application is that allows the lower-skilled employee to be successful. The overall wood products industry has to address material handling and the robotics and the automation around it. Um, a lot of the products and systems developed in the past may not have been as environmentally friendly. Not saying it was bad, um, but they're looking to improve that. They're looking for a, you know, kind of a healthier long-term um, lifestyle. With the technologies we have now, uh, you can have on-demand people say, I want my kitchen to be this size, set up this way, and we have the ability now with the technology we have to do that quickly. And that's gonna continue. Uh, people want what they want.